Today we're here to talk about Lake Mission Viejo uh, as a whole and also give a little bit of a description about uh, you know what's under the lake. You know, most of us come here on a regular basis and get an opportunity to uh, do some swimming, some boating, um, or some fishing. And we get a really good view of what's, uh, what's around us, but we never really get a chance to, to look underwater. We never really get a chance to explore and see what is under Lake Mission Viejo. A little bit about the lake. Uh, we're about 124 square surface acres uh, of property here. Uh, the lake itself runs in depths of anywhere uh, from you know a few feet in the swimming area uh, to an average depth of around 25 to 30 feet. And as you progress uh, on your way down to our dam area, uh, you'll notice that the water drops down to about 70 feet down there. So a pretty deep lake overall. Today we want to take the opportunity to get underwater show you some of the environment down there, uh, some of the fish that you may see that are in the lake. Uh, we have a, a wide multitude of fish in the lake. We've got uh, everything from bluegill and sunfish and crappie uh, to the larger fish such as bass, uh, trout in the winter time. And then of course we have our catfish. Uh, our catfish uh, range anywhere from a pound up to about 80 pounds. So uh, they have occasionally been, not, been known to swim through the, uh, the swimming area. Big lackadaisical fish that uh, kind of swims around and like a big manatee and checks everybody out. Uh, and of course, we all have the the rumor that Big Bob is out there, and that's an 80-pound plus catfish that is rumored to be in the lake. Uh, so uh, this afternoon, we were able to get in the water uh, and film some of the the underwater habitats we do have in the lake, and those are uh, anything from stoves that we've submerged and put in the lake. Along with the stoves on the bottom, we have several large formations of rocks uh, that we lay down there. Those are an excellent uh, uh, habitat for the fish. Uh, the rocks are, are of, of smaller nature, so they're able to get inside the crevices and breed down in, in, in the, the deeper parts of the water. With the stoves and the rocks, we have large uh, concrete tubes on the bottom that act as a great habitat for fish. Uh, and then large tractor tires can be found down there too along with uh, miscellaneous other pieces of uh, uh, the lake that are now down there being used for fish habitat. Uh, water clarity uh, this afternoon on our dive was 20-25 feet. Uh, that's about average for the lake. Uh, good times of the year we're looking at about 45 to 50 feet of visibility and at certain times of the year down to zero visibility. So uh, the lake is a pretty clear lake. We still uh, tout that we are one of the top three cleanest bodies of water in the nation and uh, we sure do enjoy swimming in that nice 85 degree clear water.